Let's take on the house at No House Advantage on this NFL Wild Card Sunday. I'm Pete McCarthy for Odd Shopper. Give us a like, subscribe, keep up with all of our shows, our DFS offers, our giveaways. Once you do subscribe, hit that notification button. That'll give you alerts when our shows go live. And remember, almost all of our shows and content are available in podcast form on your platform of choice. To the picks, uh, we're looking at Dalvin Cook of the Minnesota Vikings. And why are we looking at Dalvin Cook? Because I'm expecting a ton of points in this Vikings-Giants game on Sunday. Indoors, great environment. The Vikings have played a number of high-scoring games over the course of this season. I think Dalvin Cook is a guy who's going to be extremely active both on the ground and through the air for the Vikings. We're looking at that 90 and a half receiving yards plus rushing yards line. Uh, the projection has them close to 100 uh, as far as that goes. We have free projections over at stochastic.com. Uh, so pound that over on Dalvin Cook. Uh, I will more to go back to that last Vikings Giants game. Uh, Cook only had 77 yards from scrimmage in that game against the Giants, so he was under, but not by much. And really, I'm expecting more points from the Giants and Vikings than we saw in their regular season meeting last month. Uh, so again, you know, with Cook, uh, I'm looking at the over, whether it's on the ground, through the air. I think he's going to have ample opportunity. I think in playoff games, teams are going to their stars. Justin Jefferson is another one. Uh, that you could consider the over on. Our projection just has him a little under what the versus the house projection is for Jefferson, so I'm not throwing him out here. Uh, but I am looking at Dalvin Cook being that uh, we have his projection as over, and I think he's going to have ample opportunity in this game against the New York Giants that should be close, and I think we'll be up and down the field. Uh, if you haven't played at No House Advantage, sign up and use this $100 deposit match. Uh, so when you sign up using the link below, uh, you throw $100 in, and they're going to match that and give you another $100 to play with, so you'll have $200. Uh, two ways to play at No House Advantage. You could play versus the house, like we're breaking down right now. These lines are generally going to be pretty tight. This is going to be what you're going to see at the books. Uh, if you, say, put five of them together, you can mix sports. You get five out of five. You hit for 20 times your entry fee, which is pretty rare to see. Uh, that's, a, that's a nice haul to be able to get in return. So it's one way to play versus the house. Uh, if you do that, definitely want to look at things that correlate. Maybe you take a bunch of overs from that Giants-Vikings game, which is what I'm giving you here. And you can mix in some other plays as well. Uh, you can also play in the pickup contest that I really enjoy. There's typically a lot of overlights. That means more money is going out to the players than in to no house advantage. That's always a, a nice thing when you're playing. Uh, and you can hit pretty big $15,000 first place prize on this wild card Sunday in the main Pick'em contest. And we have free projections over at stochastic.com for No House Advantage to make it super simple for you. We're doing a lot of the work, uh, and then you kind of pare it down and decide what you might expect from a given game. Player, fine, uh, but it's a great starting point at the very least. Uh, looking at our projections for over and under some of these numbers. Our projections also like Daniel Bellinger, the tight end of the Giants, to be over. Uh, we're looking at 23 and a half receiving yards for the Giants tight end, uh, projected for over 30. Uh, he's been over this the last couple of weeks. He didn't play last week against the Eagles, but the two before that, he was over this number. Again, this is a game where I'm expecting points. I'm expecting these two teams to go up and down the field. That's what I'm playing for when I'm putting... Uh, these selections together, you can look at Saquon Barkley and decide if you want to go over on, say, his rushing yards plus receiving yards prop. You can look at some other Giants receivers. But uh, for me, Daniel Bellinger has the biggest plus margin on the projection versus uh, when you look at his receiving yards. It's something he's done quite a bit over the course of this season. And I don't mind with a tight end that can get here with two catches, uh, getting to just 24 yards. Sometimes it's hard for a tight end to get to say, you know, 50 plus, like uh, the line you're probably looking at on TJ Hawkinson of the Vikings, but Bellinger, very reachable. And he's been there quite a bit over the course of this season. Uh, if you are playing versus the Bucks, or even uh, if, if you are playing No House Advantage, uh, you get access to all of our betting experts at Stochastic in our premium Discord. That is also available in a link below. And you can use that link to get your first week of access for free. Then it's just $19.95 afterwards. So get in there. I mean, it's the NFL playoffs. It's a perfect week to test it out. 
See what you like. You can tell some picks if you'd like. You can ask questions in there to our betting experts to get a feel for what their process is, why they like a, a certain bet on a given day. Uh, a lot of our experts, they have different areas of expertise. Uh, yes, some are NFL, NBA, almost everybody could do that. Matt Gajeski is terrific as far as college basketball goes, as well as college football, but that's over. Uh, you have you know guys like Greg Ehrenberg who are more analytical. You have bigger personalities like an Eric Lindquist. You got a lot of different things. You kind of find the person that you like uh, that suits your personality the way that you like to bet. You know, Aton Shander, he's always going for the lotto tickets if that's the way you like to play. Uh, so check all that out. Again, first week of access for free to our premium Discord with our betting experts at Stochastic. Uh, another line on No House Advantage, if you are playing versus the house that I really like, is James Cook at the Buffalo Bills. 51 and a half receiving yards plus rushing yards. He hasn't been a big factor in the passing game, uh, but I, I like doing this line in this spot. I, I think that he can get more active in that area of the game, but uh, we have him at 60 projected yards receiving plus rushing. You can just look at the rushing yardage if you'd like, but I, I like the advantage here of the receiving and the rushing. Uh, the Bills have been trying to run the ball a lot more as the season has gone along. And James Cook's role has upped itself quite a bit. I mean, he's playing about 40 to 45% of the snaps over the last month or so after hovering around 20%. Uh, I always like fresh legs, young legs when you get later into the season and obviously into the postseason here. So I think Cook can take some carries away from Singletary as well. We're also expecting a game, right, where the Dolphins are not going to be able to keep up with the Bills. Skylar Thompson's not going to be able uh, to wing it all over the yard in this way. So, look, Cooks should have a lot of opportunities on the ground, potentially a few through the air. But I'm really looking at this as far as the rushing goes. Uh, you can look at 38 and a half rushing yardage line or 51 and a half in the receiving plus rushing. Again, I like the receiving plus rushing in a game that is expected to be one-sided. You want to double check that? Hey, go to Odd Shopper. Uh, I always like using it just to get a feel for what the sports books have as their lines, where the juice is one way or the other. Maybe it's far off what you have played versus the house at no house advantage. Uh, maybe our projections are way off from what the sports book has. And you say, well, maybe this isn't one I want to play. Uh, so if you see that our projections and the sports books have it a certain direction, you have kind of double confirmation uh, that. Things are looking good. And obviously, if you are betting, playing versus typical houses, right, uh, you can find the best lines, shop for the best places to bet. Uh, there are a lot of different options, a lot of different lines out there. And, you know, you could win a bet and your return could be different depending on where you put it in. Uh, so Odd Shopper will do a lot of that work for you. All right, so I just got through telling you how the Dolphins aren't going to be able to uh, keep up with the Bills. Uh, but one that I do like is Tyreek Hill. I, I think... I don't think Tyreek Hill is dependent on his quarterback in the way that, say, Jalen Waddell is. Uh, Tyreek Hill can catch a screen and take it to the house, right? He, he's not a guy that you have to throw the ball 60 yards down the field or that you have to have some perfect route and in a tight window get him the ball. Tyreek Hill can make things happen in so many different ways. Uh, my only concern with this would be if the Dolphins get creative and, say, put Tyreek Hill in the backfield or, you know, maybe they're just handing the ball off to him in some ways to get him the ball, and then we're not getting the receiving yardage here. But I do like the over. I just think it's really low. 62 and a half receiving yards for Tyree Kill. I wouldn't be in a rush to pair this with Skylar Thompson as an over. Uh, but, again, the Dolphins are expected to be playing from behind against the Bills. At some point, they're going to have to pass the football. And Tyree Kill has the ability to make big plays. I mean, we've seen this over and over. Uh, you know, you look at what he's done over the course of this season with Skylar Thompson. It hasn't been especially productive. Uh, he also left early last week against the Jets in the regular season finale. So we didn't really get a, a feel for, you know, full game of those two recently of what they can do. But I do like Tyree Kill getting to 63 yards here. Uh, we haven't projected for over 70 receiving yards. I wouldn't touch Jalen Waddle. Maybe to look at the under up very low as well. But Tyreek Hill is a player that I do think uh, can get to the over here. Projection likes it. And again, it's about opportunity. There should be opportunity if the if the Dolphins are down multiple scores in the second half. They are going to have to throw the ball with Skylar Thompson. And where's he going to go? He's going to look at Tyreek Hill. 
Uh, lineup generator. If you are playing DFS, uh, the NFL, uh, great tool. We're adding to it all the time over at stochastic.com. It's included in our DFS packages. It'll make lineups depending on what kind of contest you're in. How contrarian do you want to be? Do you just want the, the highest projected players uh, put all in there? Your lineup is going to correlate. It's based on simulations. Uh, you can also game script now for showdown contests. So, you know, let's say you like the Bills to, you know, not only win by as much as the line is, but maybe six points more than that, or uh, six points more for the Bills and six points fewer for the Dolphins in a blowout. You can get that feel. It's going to give you lineups that play for that scenario. And that's going to make it a little different than everybody else. If you have a feel for the game that maybe Vegas isn't on with the basic numbers that are out there over unders and differentials. So uh, be sure to check it out. There's a lot of things you could do with it. It's improving all the time. Uh, check out the lineup generator included in our DFS packages at stochastic.com. As far as no house advantage goes, we've got free projections at stochastic.com. Use them and, uh, Try to beat the house or take down the pickup contest this weekend. Good luck.